Today we have Mayor Burke with former Mayor Michael McGlynn and Bill Campbell, City Councilor Rick Carviello, Bill Honeycutt, John Brewer's Tavern, one of our um, proud sponsors here today. Also representing the Boston Red Sox, Dr. Charles Steinberg is with us today. Thank you so much for being here. City Councilor Adam Knight, School Committee Member Kathy Kretz, and School Superintendent Roy Belson. At this point, I'd like to invite Mayor Stephanie Burke up to the podium just to say a couple of words. Thank you, Allison. As we all know, yesterday we celebrated Boston one day, and I urge all of our Metroville, Ricker, AC, and Swampscott neighbors to continue moving it forward, do good deeds, go unnoticed, and just take pride in our great state and how resilient we are. But today, we really want to honor Crystal's memory. This is such a nice tribute to her and her family. And uh, we are Medford strong, and we will fight today. And I wish you all the best in this tournament. Go get them, Medford. <laughs> I just want to point out that this tournament is one of many things that we've done to raise money for a scholarship in Crystal's name, and we've been able to give a substantial scholarship every year to a graduating senior. So for all of you that are participating today, you help in that. Everyone who's volunteered, given money, the sale of these Medford Strong shirts, We've raised over $30,000 the past three years, and we're really happy that you guys are here and helping out with that. So now I'd like to invite the three Medford captains up here, Gigi, Ashley, and Renee. If you could come on up. And Gigi actually is going to make a tribute to Crystal Campbell. Thank you. Okay, okay, here we go. First of all, I would like to say that I would welcome everyone to today's event. A special day where we not only rejoice the sport that we love, but also remember a beloved, a beloved member of our community. Crystal Campbell was a Medford High School alum, a former softball player for her city, a gracious friend and colleague to many, but most importantly, a wonderful daughter to Bill and Patty Campbell. Three years ago, on April 15, 2013, the state of Massachusetts shook with fear. A warm, clear, sunny day suddenly turned anxious and dull. But rather remembering the past, I invite you to think about the future. The many opportunities we have in life every day. Capturing the chances that we get to show our love and pride to those that mean the most to us. As we stand here today with different worries on our minds, Let's focus on the positive spirit that Crystal brought to our hearts and the daily smile she put on our faces. This tournament is a mere representation of what the city of Medford has done to remember Crystal's legacy. Along with the Peace Garden being built in the city to honor the four lives that passed away, the Medford High School girls softball team has raised over $40,000 for the Crystal Campbell Scholarship Fund and will continue this tradition for years to come. A loving soul like Crystal's deserves to be honored forever. So on behalf of the Medford softball team and the Medford community, we want to thank you all for coming out to support and remember a fellow member of the Mustang family. Thanks, Gigi. At this point, I'd like to invite Dr. Charles Steinberg from the Boston Red Sox to come on up and say a few words. You're doing a lot more than playing ball, and playing ball is good in and of itself. But when that Medford softball team, Medford High softball team, came with Jack Dempsey onto the field at Fenway Park in the summer of 2013, it served as the catalyst that gave 
enough encouragement to Crystal's family to make their first public appearance. And thanks to the mayor, now the former mayor, who coordinated that. When Crystal's mom threw out that first pitch, I believe she threw it to Johnny Gomes, her reaction after she threw the pitch was a smile. And one of the members of her family said that was her first smile. And when the Boston Red Sox, or the game of baseball, or any diamond sport, baseball and softball, has the opportunity to have that effect and to galvanize our community and to unify all of you who are playing with pride in the oneness of our community, it's a lot more than playing softball. So I congratulate you for playing and using the power of good to help families heal as well as advancing your careers. And I'll add that it was um, Jack Dempsey's daughter playing catch on the beach with her brother before my eyes when I said, wow, who's that ball player? And that's led Jackie Dempsey to the career she's had and the ring she's won with the Boston Red Sox and the Pawtucket Red Sox. So you have no idea where your career is going to take you, but keep playing, stay unified, and stay strong. Thank you. Uh, before we do the national anthem and the first uh, ceremonial pitches, um, Jack, did you have a presentation you wanted to make? Yes. Couple presentations. We have four softballs going to the people who are throwing out the first pitch. Um, also, geez, you want to grab one of those shirts? The Midfield Girls softball team are also giving these shirts to the Campbells, as well as Charles, Billy Honeycutt, and Mayor Stephanie Burke. So uh, we really appreciate everyone being here, and once again, it's a fantastic day. All right, so we're going to do the national anthem, then we'll have our first pitch. Um, and I'd like to invite Joanna Kubiak, who is a student at AC, but she's also from Bilbrica, so it's really appropriate that she's going to come on up and sing the national anthem for us. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars
followed by a game at 1.30. Thanks, everyone, for being here.